Uh, you tried to avoid this by meeting with Marjorie Taylor Greene for about two and a half hours and Thomas Massey. They went ahead anyway. Your thoughts about surviving, but that this vote actually took place, too. Yeah, it was unfortunate that it did. Look, I appreciate the overwhelming show of confidence by my colleagues to defeat that misguided effort. Here's what I have to do every day, Brian. I have to do my job. I have to do what I know to be right. We, we advance our conservative policies and principles as far as we can here every single day up the field, in spite right. of the fact that we have the smallest majority in U.S. history. We can't get 100 percent of what we want, and, and sometimes a handful of my colleagues demand that. It's just not possible right now. But we're fighting. We're going to get this job done, and I think that's leadership, leadership in very difficult times. Well, the, these are very complicated times to be a speaker. We know what happened happened to Kevin McCarthy. He just had a couple. Uh, but what happened to him that, that didn't happen to you is the fact that you were essentially bailed out by a number of Democrats. Uh, Democrats didn't help him. They helped you. Why? Well, I think the Democrats believe in the institution and they see exactly what we see and the American people see. These are dangerous times and the country desperately needs a functioning Congress. We can't afford the risk of shutting the House down, which is literally what happened last time. Imagine if we close the House in the middle of hot wars around the globe when China could move on Taiwan, Iran could fire a nuke at Israel. I mean, you know, anything could happen right now. And, and we need to be working here every day. The chaos and confusion do nothing but diminish our chance to save this country and hurt our cause. And yeah. we are fighting every single day to reverse all those terrible things that you just recounted that President Biden's done to the country. We have to keep the Republicans together, moving together as a team. And when we do that, I'm convinced, you guys, we're going to grow the majority in November. We're going to take back the Senate, and Donald Trump is going to be returned to the White House. And when that happens, we will be able to turn this thing 180 degrees. Are the threats to your speakership over now for this term? Well, look, it was an overwhelming landslide outcome. I mean, I think the message is sent. We have serious work to do, y'all. There are two completing visions for mm -hmm. the country. We are fighting to save America and preserve its founding principles, to get Donald Trump back to the White House and to win the majority in the Senate and the House for the Republican Party so that we can fix all of these extreme challenges. We have no time for nonsense.